to one more level. Hey, welcome back to Super Win the Game. All right, so we talked to this guy, lost our teeth, now we're gonna lose our ear. So let's go talk to this Arcadian. <laughs> so where we last left off, I know it's been a little bit since we've had an episode post. Uh, he looks evil. He's actually not, he's a nice dude. A he he's looks a custodian. Evil. He, you know, sweeps up in the desert ruins. So like creepy nighttime custodian? Yeah, you know, like, well, but he's nice though. He's, he's like a creepy nice guy. I'm pretty sure he's a vampire. Well, I mean, you know, don't judge him. Look at him, he's completely white. That's racist. Yeah, but like, <laughs> white white. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to hear the story about how, no. <laughs> Come Ooh. back if you change your mind. I wonder if I have to do that. Yeah, I think I actually have to do that. We Arcadians once traveled in great silver vessels across endless seas of stars. We, why the fuck does he talk like that? We saw curiosities <laughs> from dimensions beyond the... Imagine <laughs> What? In the depths of this room, okay. you will find an orb. Alright, now we're talking loot. Containing an electric blue light. Electric light orchestra. Don't bring me down. No, 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 no. I'm gonna seek out this orb. Do you have courage? I mean, I have video game courage. You're not gonna prevail if you don't have courage. Oh, uh, I was gonna say, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this, um,. This area, the desert ruin, is where the difficulty amps up a little. Good job. A little bit. Um, so we'll see if I can get through this pretty quickly. We. Nice. nice. I hit the save points. All that matters. <laughs> it's the Scorpio lobster. I love the little guy. Oh, at least this one is nicer than the scorpions in. Uh, Spelunky? In Spelunky? Because yeah. those are terrifying. The douche scorpions. I scream. Let's see what's down here. A gem. If you want to hear me scream like a little girl, Another you gem. can watch our uh, Spelunky episode where the scorpions scare the crap out of me. Going, buddy. How's it? Ooh. Oh, hey. Subspace. Oh, I'm wrong. Never mind. <laughs> Actually, now we need to go through here, so. Okay. Oh, she's so tiny. I know. But remember, they have the really rough voices, so they're still pretty scary. He is not a custodian. He's, He's a like custodian. a vampire with, like, fucking horns. He's an Arcadian. Uh, get your super win the game lore right. Jeez. He's got horns. I don't trust anyone with horns. Well, what if I had horns? Would you trust me? No. Oh. Holy shitballs! I don't remember that. Great Hall is just next door. Well, we'll come back for you, Crazy Death Room. It's actually really hard to consistently get down there. All right, this part I kind of suck at. Okay. Uh, hold on, though. I want secrets first. So I'm gonna get secrets first. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm gonna Why get would dead. You do that? There is something over there. I'm not gonna try it a bunch. If I don't get it this time, I'm not gonna go for it. <laughs> that wasn't even, like, that was a dog whistle noise. <laughs> All right, so you remember the pipe maze in Mario 3? No. No? World 7? Am I showing my nerdiness here? So it's one of these things. Um, the platform changes as you step on different directions. Go oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about now that you're, now that you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Watch out for douchebag bat. Oh. OK, here we go. Now I'm on the right track. <laughs> But there are spikes up here because this game hates me and everything I love. It hates me too? Alright. Ooh, how many keys do we have? Just one. That might screw us later, but screw it. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's all good. I forget if this is the right... Of course it's the completely wrong way to go. But it gives us this stupidly esoteric clue. A leap of faith is needed in Great Hall. This is kind of stupid. It just shows us where an invisible wall is, except that same invisible wall has a fucking arrow drawn to it. What do you mean? You'll see. Leap of faith. Okay, good. So I just wasted a key. That was great. Fun. The best. Okay, there we go. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, bat. Bat. What is, is that the bat's like gaping mouth? He's like, hi, what's going on? Before we go down there to where we actually need to go, we're gonna totally fuck <gasps> this up. Nope, I did it. All right, so this is Subcon. Um, this is another old school game reference to Mario 2. 
Um, but this will eventually serve as our uh, warp zone. So we're going to be able to use all these yellow doors once we open them to travel across the world. Awesome. Um, and before I do anything, I'm going to jam out this music. Oh, there's <laughs> no save points around here. I was going to save this so we didn't have to redo it. Um, <laughs> oh, but you know what? There's save points in the subcon. We're good. Like, is that just, like, subconscious? Yeah, it's... it. Well, it's like, that's a play on words for that, yeah. Because remember Mario 2? You ever play that one? The one where you throw the veggies and stuff? Yeah. You know, the doors, and you would go in and it would look like this. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, there was a safe point out here. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Wee Shit, I missed it. Oh, wow. That's well, all then. Um, actually, I'm going to do the first one first. You might notice the a couple... The first one first. Oh, damn it. Good job. Hold on. Never mind, we'll do this one. I wonder where I'm supposed to go. I don't know. I wonder. It's not like there's a huge clue pointing oh, me in the right direction that. here. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't have noticed that. Be mindful. All right, so this is a cool little mechanic. I like it when games do stuff like this. So it looks like I'm pretty much screwed if I walk over there because uh -huh. it's nothing but bottomless pit. Except, oh, wait, that guy's ammo was just yeah, stop falling in, in air. It's almost like there's a hidden passage. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you're supposed to kind of... I I kind of know where the passages start and end, but I'm going to just play it safe and watch him. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to double check. I'm going to wait for him to cross by. Okay, yeah, we're all it's, good. It's solid. Yeah, no, it's solid all the way to the end. Whew. There we go. Hey, fuck you, snake. That snake is the grumpiest looking enemy I have ever seen. He's and like, there's nothing you can do about him, huh? Asshole. Like, you can't kill shit. him. You just nah. have to. I just have to let him sit there and deal with his sass. You know, his sassy bastard. There's so many characters from this game that are kind of similar to, to Spelunky. I would want to just, like, run up to him and whip him, right. but it's not happening. Alright, so while you were quipping about snakes, I got the Cerulean Aura. Nice. We got and, an achievement for that. Yep. So that, you know, like the red blocks, that triggers our blue blocks to open up. Oh, awesome. Yep. And will I read from the book and do creepy dreamscape? Why not? I empathize with dying stars. Those Why? once shining beacons of prosperity now only recall the sublime architecture of dreams. Blah. Oh, okay. You, you just commiserated with, like, balls of gas. Yeah. You know. Alright. I really like the letter T, apparently. Indeed. This game was brought to you by the letter T. <laughs> I don't Jamming remember, out to T. I don't remember this one at all, actually. So these are the weird little dreamscapes again. Uh, nope. Messed that one up. Okay. I look safe. <laughs> hey! <laughs> and this is the rest of the episode. <laughs> Literally, just just a minute and a half more of this. Okay, apparently nothing. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's kind of cute. Can we can we talk about like? He looks like he's nomin. <laughs> yeah, he's nom 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 nom. He, he's done some manscaping too. Those brows are really. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely oh, true. Multiple om noms. <laughs> I feel like we should just be throwing food in it. Oh, it's adorable. Yeah. The sleepless are watching. Creepy. It's that custodian. <laughs> I saw a face and her eyes slowly and turned in my direction. I can't stop these things from coming true. Cool. Okay. Well then. Yep. So that's it for that one. But we're going to do a couple extra little hidden things before this dungeon ends, before this episode ends. If I don't die. Which if he's Jesus. I mean, kinda. Did Jesus wear pink shirts? Oddly pink shirts? Uh, well, Devil Custodian says probably he did. <laughs> oh my god, more story. This is actually telling about the history of the Arcadians. This game does actually have a deep story, but it's just kind of 
there. It it's has just, wizards. It's a randomly esoteric. Hey, from Nether Realms. That sounds dirty. And that's me. I'm that way. For, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got it. He's like, are you sure? Are you sure you want to play this game? Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Head north to the first dune, then east as far as your legs will carry you. I've hidden something there which will help you. What if you're like this? Yes, like, you do talk too much. What if you're like this ultra marathon runner? Just go as far as your legs will carry you, and you're just like, okay, I, I went around the globe. Now what? <laughs> I literally ran through the water. All right, so there are more gems and things in here, but I might get them off screen. Uh, before we end this episode, I want to go to one specific place. So, because I know if I don't, honestly, I'm gonna totally forget it. So. Oh, that's adorable! I love the mushroom. Yeah. Um, uh, because what he actually did tell us there was a legit clue. It wasn't just total bullshit. It was only almost entirely bullshit. Hey, Scorpio Lobster, I thought we were friends. <laughs> Apparently not. Thought we were friends, man. I remarked on your cuteness. I love this music. This soundtrack is so good. So eight bitty. Yeah, and it's actually like a weird combination because it's not like old school NES eight bit. It's a different kind of eight bit. All right. North of the first dune, and east as far as my legs will carry me. Okay. It kind of reminds here. me a little bit of um, like because it, it's got some some good beats to it, like kind of like I fight dragons music. Yeah, I, yeah, a little bit actually. I fight dragons, you know, they go really into being able to be mainstream music, yeah. but you know, they they use some of those eight bit yeah. pieces. I love that. Question: Why a sign that says the Arcadian secret cache? Is that really necessary? He, he bothered. It, what, if you wanted to keep it a secret, I mean, that'd stand out in a desert. Just say. <laughs> no, <laughs> no stealing. stealing. Okay, I won't. Fingers crossed. Listen, Scorpio Lobster. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. What have I done? I don't know. Have I screwed up wonderfully? Wee. Oh, cool. Yep. I got, oh yeah. A scuba gear? Yeah, I got scuba gear. That's awesome. Splish Splash. Splash. Awesome. Whoa. What's over here? A scorpion lobster. Ma it's not just a snorkel. It's a magic snorkel. What? Oh. I, you know, I guess that makes sense. I mean, you know, snorkels don't normally let you flat out, full on breathe underwater. Why wouldn't they just give you scuba gear? Right? No, it had to be a, <laughs> like fuck, a, be a magic fucking magic snorkel. snorkel. And the funny part is... It... Snorkel. That's the funny part. The word snorkel. <laughs> that is a funny part. It's such a funny word. Anyway, I'm sorry. What was the funny part? You know, they, they could just give you a scuba gear, but no. No, no. No. It's not and nearly it, it, as... It, Holy shit, scuba It kind of even looked like scuba gear. Yeah. But no. No, how to be a magic snorkel. Magic snorkel. All right. Well, next time on one more level, we'll figure out what the hell we're supposed to do with that magic snorkel. Later. Bye-bye.